If I were to ask you, do you consider Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Ghoul Re as series to be successful, would you agree? Yes, no, maybe so. It turns out the author of Tokyo Ghoul, Suei Yishida, does not agree. He thinks that Tokyo Ghoul is not successful. This doesn't have anything to do with money, fame, popularity. This is just how he feels as an author, as an artist. Tokyo Ghoul for him was not successful in an artistic sense. And even though he's pointed to a lot of reasonings behind this, a lot of the time his interviews boil back inwards. Reflection. He tends to reflect on Tokyo Ghoul in a way that was harbored by all of these issues and problems that weren't necessarily in his control. The weekly serialization, the usage of assistants and not wanting to force them to adapt to his type of work style, but also him as an artist, thinking that he's not good enough, thinking that he can do better, he can evolve more, he can learn more, and overall it creates this very inadequate experience and reception towards his own work. So in that sense, in his mind, Tokyo Ghoul is not successful. It's not fulfilling. The Chojin X fares a little bit differently. He's learnt a lot since his weekly serialization, and it's nice to see him express words in these recent interviews, one from June of this year and another one just from a couple of days ago, and seeing that progression within his words, his thoughts, how he thinks about himself and storytelling now isn't necessarily night and day, but you can tell the improvements that he's made and things that he's now more attached to. Let's take it back for a moment. During the days of Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Ghoul Re, Soe Yishida used to work with sometimes five to seven different assistants. Now, that might sound like a lot, but this was incredibly stressful. Not only because the weekly experience is detrimental at its core and very difficult to manage to anyone, but this was also his first work. He'd also have to balance his type of artistry with the assistants that he was working with. So you'd have to mix and match different timescales schedules and trying to create something that's healthy for everyone but overall not healthy because you're not producing enough content in time. Leave a like and subscribe. So in a monthly setting for a weekly story, he would produce anywhere between 70 to 80 pages in total. That's around about 15 to 20 pages per week. However, for Chojin X, that isn't a weekly experience, you might notice something very different and a little bit odd. He is able to produce almost 100 pages per month, which is basically six chapters, give or take, without any assistance whatsoever, just himself. Now, you probably have a big question mark right now, a little bit confused. How is that even possible? He has less people helping him, but he's able to produce almost 30 whole more pages within a singular month. There's a lot of reasoning for this, and he goes on to explain, not in excruciating detail, but stuff that's very personal to himself that has allowed him to figure out how to draw the story that he wants to draw. The biggest hurdle that he would face was being happy and healthy with himself. Coming to this understanding that to be able to produce the artwork that he's happy with, that he thinks is personally successful, is being healthy and allowing himself room to breathe, not only in a physical, mental, and emotional sense, but flexibility-wise. Chojin X doesn't have a schedule, and I say that loosely because he has a personal schedule that he wants to release set amount of pages every single month, but on a business front, there's no timeline, there's no deadline, there's no set amount of pages that he has to release, set amount of chapters, etc. He is able to produce a chapter whenever he feels comfortable, and understanding this, from a physical, mental, and emotional standpoint was probably the biggest hurdle because all he's ever known for the past many, many years is that weekly Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Ghoul re-experience, which was very hard on himself. Funny enough, this boils directly back into his love for artistry, and at his core, Sue Yishida seems like an absolute perfectionist, someone that wants to master his craft. He genuinely tries to challenge himself constantly. He tries to push himself further. He tries to learn new things and it seems like he's constantly learning new things. How to optimize his timeline, how to do this better and create a, a more efficient workflow, but that wasn't the only thing he had to learn. Learning to take care of himself allowed him to optimize things better. So Chojin X, funny enough, gave him that freedom to do so. I feel like he's acquired this newfound appreciation for life, and because of that, it's directly affected his storytelling. It's made it better. It's made it more enjoyable, he feels 
feels happier in approaching different things and pushing himself to his limit in a quote unquote healthier way. You may see the hours that he works, sometimes up to 20 hours and sleeping only three, and that might go on for a couple of days. That sounds horrible. That sounds ridiculous. That's falling back into that weekly module. But because he's choosing to do this, which is the biggest difference before he was forced, now he's choosing, there's such a different level of appreciation. There's such a different level of technicality behind it because he may do those 20 hour stints for three days straight, but then take a month off. To put simply, he learned how to live his life and because of that, naturally benefited his work as an author and more specifically as an artist. I think a lot of you might have been surprised to see him back with another story, surprised that he even started to write manga once again. A lot of people thought that he was done and I can't blame you. A lot of his words made it seem like he was kind of in this position of not wanting to come back. He did come back and on his own terms and I'm very glad that he did. I'm glad that he's expressed himself in a couple of different interviews, has been a lot more open and just seeing him enjoy himself more, play games, talk about different things while working on his story that seems a lot more personal and having this newfound aspect or approach to how he handles his art, you know, challenging himself or putting himself through different hurdles to really optimize the experience. It's crazy because you probably can't even tell the difference. Go look at TG's art, go look at Trojan X's art, and yeah, you can probably see some things that are, you know, shortcut here and there, but I would say the attitude and overall stylistic approach that Ishida has grown into with Trojan X is so much more of his own. I mean, quite literally, it is and only his. No one else has touched this story. When it comes to Trojan X being as successful as TG, etc., he says it best in a way where he is happy that people can enjoy his story after the things that he has gone through. It's not really in the vein of how much money he makes or how big and famous the story becomes, but that story inspires others to draw, to write, to do whatever it may be, just to inspire at its core. He's happy. He's even more happy that people can enjoy it when he's not under those boundaries or restrictions. Truth be told, the stories are worlds apart. Chojin X feels like a passion project. It feels so expansive, so incredibly well detailed with information and lore and building this, this world with these characters intermingled all between and there's just so much depth within the 40 chapters we have now compared to maybe even the entirety of Tokyo Ghoul's run. And that's not to compare them on who is better or who does things this way or that way or what's worse etc. That's just to show the amount of evolution I would say that Sue Yishida has gone through as an artist at heart. For the newcomers, if you're watching this as a fan of Tokyo Girl, but maybe you haven't read Chojin X, I promise you it is worth the wait. It's worth the time. It's worth not knowing when the next chapter may come out. And don't get me wrong, they come out very frequently. There's rarely a time now where you will go a month without hearing from Ishida on Twitter or seeing a new chapter being released. He's very frequent nowadays. And that's because he's found this swing, this momentum for his storytelling. If you do decide to read it, and I highly recommend you do, you will love it. It is Sue Ishida, but more. It is a world filled with beautiful characters, filled with so much incredible lore and world building and just intricate plot points and details that can be expanded upon in a multitude of different ways. To explain the story from start to finish feels almost impossible. There's just so much there and it's so damn good. Like sure, you can give it some simple words. Teenagers with superpowers. That's it. Does not do it justice because those superpowers are much more. Those kids are much more. And the world that they live in is very expansive. For all the people that have read Trojan X, that are caught up, that are currently within the whole opium, poppy field raids, and the stuff with Palma, etc. We are feasting. Ishida is cooking majorly. I recently caught up, left a couple of chapters there just to build that momentum. And I'm very glad that I did because everything that we're witnessing right now is fun, is energetic, is just strong. There is a day that I hope that Trojan X becomes more popular, you no know, more mainstream, which is probably the worst word to use. But I'm also happy if it doesn't really reach that critically acclaimed height as its predecessor. I think the community that Trojan X has now is healthy, vibrant. A lot of people love the story. They treat it with so much care and respect, but 
passion. They can appreciate the work that Ishida is doing and how it's evolved over time. It's not Tokyo Ghoul 2.0, it's something else. And it's very quickly turning into what I would consider to be Ishida's magnum opus. The story that he's wanted to tell, his thoughts, his feelings, his hard work, his effort, his evolution. This is him. And the more I read of this story, the more I believe it to be so. And if an anime ever were to adapt it, please do it respect. We don't want a TG, TG re situation, all right? Leave the business out of it. I feel like it misses the whole point of Trojan X's story if that was the case. And just get people that are passionate about it. If that is a possibility, you will have such an incredible anime for it. Read Trojan X. It is worth your time. You'll thank me later. Fall in love with it.